we're going to explain how to reset your Typecase Flexbook Touch Keyboard. There are a few ways to do this depending on what kind of reset you need. 1. The first and simplest is a soft reset. This is like restarting your computer. It clears temporary files and glitches. To do a soft reset, simply turn your keyboard off completely. You'll usually find a power switch somewhere on the keyboard itself. Wait about 10 seconds, then turn it back on. This often fixes minor issues. 2. If a soft reset doesn't work, you might need to try a factory reset. This will erase all your custom settings, like key mappings and saved profiles, and return the keyboard to its default state. The method for doing a factory reset varies depending on your specific Typecase Flexbook Touch keyboard model. Check your keyboard's instruction manual. This is usually the best resource. It often involves holding down a specific combination of keys, like the FN key plus a number key, during startup. The manual will tell you the exact sequence and how long to hold them down. 3. Some models might have a button or switch specifically for a factory reset. Again, consult your manual for precise instructions. It could be labeled Reset, Factory Reset, or something similar. It might be a small button recessed into the keyboard casing or on the bottom or side. 4. If you can't find instructions in the manual or your keyboard doesn't have a clear reset button, look for support documentation on the Typecase website. Their website will likely have FAQs, troubleshooting guides, and downloadable manuals. Search for your specific model number to find the most accurate information. 5. If all else fails, consider contacting Typecase's customer support directly. They will be able to provide model-specific instructions or troubleshoot any problems you might be facing. Provide them with your keyboard's model number and a clear description of the issue you're experiencing. They'll be able to guide you through the process or help diagnose a deeper problem. Remember always to back up any important custom settings before performing a factory reset, just in case. This way, if something goes wrong or you don't like the changes, you can easily restore your preference.